Today we'll look at how to create this glitchy VHS effect in DaVinci Resolve. I'm using the free version of DaVinci Resolve 20, but this method should work with any version from the last few years. I've created a new project and I'm here on the edit page. I'll drag this video clip to my timeline. You can see it's a woman driving a car. Now to get this VHS look, we could apply effects directly to this clip here, but instead I'm going to apply it to an adjustment clip. It gives us more flexibility in applying that effect to other clips later on, as I'll show you. To add an adjustment clip, I'll expand the effects tab here. Then under effects, I'll click adjustment clip and let's drag it in. So just to show you what this does, if I select my adjustment clip and I expand the inspector tab here, I can do something like change the rotation angle and it'll only apply where that clip covers my clip below it. So you can see my video is normal. Then when it hits the adjustment clip, those changes take effect. Now, of course, I don't want that rotation effect. So let's undo that. And also I want the adjustment clip to affect the whole video. So I'll resize it so it covers the whole video. Now, I think a good way to start this VHS effect is to apply a blur and then a sharpen filter. To add the blur effect, we can once again go to effects. And then if you go to open effects, you'll probably see box blur here. You can also search for it. So I'll take this box blur and I'll drag it onto the adjustment clip. I'll let go and you can see it blurs the video there. With my adjustment clip selected, I can go back to the inspector tab. And when you add an effects like that, the effect can be configured under this effects button here. So you see under effects, open effects, here's my box blur. I can toggle on and off. I could totally delete it by clicking the trash can there. I do think the effects kind of strong. So let's reduce the strength here. Just make it something very subtle just to simulate that low res VHS effect. Maybe something around there. There's another setting on this blur filter that I like, the horizontal channel adjustments. So let's expand that. If I take the red and drag it, you'll notice we get that slight chromatic aberration effect. Let me zoom in so you can see. So this is without it. And then when I drag it to the left, notice how we're getting these colors there. So you can just do a little bit of a subtle adjustment there. Again, it's up to you how you want to do it. So here we have before, after, before, after. Now let's sharpen the image. Now by default, a lot of the sharpen effects are in the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. If you go to the effects here, if you scroll down, you can see a sharpen section, but they're all in the paid version. However, that actually is a secret free method. With the adjustment clip selected, click on the color tab here. So I'll click color. Now there's a lot of information on this page, but most of it's not relevant to us. The one we care about is this filter here, blur. So I'll click blur and here you can see it says the radius. Now bringing up the radius will actually make it blurrier, but decreasing down will actually sharpen. So here we're getting a sharpening effect. So let's make it really extreme and I'll zoom in here. And the thing that sharpening does is just gives us this slight ghosting effect over everything. So if I change this back here, you can see the color is very even on the edge here. But if I drag down the sharpening, notice how we get this little bit of a halo there. And that's very characteristic of VHS video. So I like that effect. Again, how much you want to add is totally up to you. Something I also like to play with a little bit is these color wheels over here. So I'll press color wheels. Let's zoom out. And sometimes old VHS videos have a little bit of a gray effect in the blacks. So you can dial down the contrast, maybe there. That just makes it look a little bit older, I think. And you can play with some of these other options to degrade the image if you like. But I think that's a pretty good start. Let's go back to the edit page. So let's make a comparison of what we have so far before after, before, after. Now let's add a VHS overlay. The website pexels.com has tons of free video overlays we can add. I'm here on the site. What I'll do is I'll change the search box to say videos and I'll just search for VHS damage. I'll hit enter. And as you scroll through, you can see lots of templates here. The ones with noise and that black background are exactly what we want. So you can find one you like. If you click on one of them, you can get a preview of it. I kind of like this one here. So I'll download it. I'll say HD and I'll save it to my computer. Now in DaVinci, I'll go to my media pool and I'll import the media. I saved it here as VHS damage. Let's bring it in. Now what I'll do is I'll drag it onto my timeline. Let's put it right there. I'll trim it a little bit. Now, of course, it's completely blocked my video. What we need to do is change the composite mode, also known as the blend mode. So with this video selected, make sure you have the inspector tab open. Now under composite, change the composite mode to screen. If you scroll down, you'll see screen here and let's see how that looks. So I'll play through and we get that kind of glitchy VHS effect. You can also adjust the opacity if it's too much. So maybe there, it's a little more subtle effect. Another cool effect you can add is scan lines. So we can go to effects and then under open effects, I'll go to the search box. I'll just type scan. 
and it found our scan lines here. I'll click and I'll drag this over the adjustment clip. Let's let go. Whenever you finish searching for something, be sure to clear out the search box just so it doesn't filter in the future. I'll close the effects. So this is the basic scan line effect, but of course it's too strong. Let's select our adjustment clip. Let's go to effects. And here we have our scan lines. So I'll expand that and you can adjust this as you like. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just kind of what you think matches your style. You can adjust the frequency, the sharpness. You can even adjust the angle if you like, but I like to make it straight. So I'll reset it. Once again, we have these offset options. So let's zoom into her face here. You can see the scan lines are kind of dark right now, but again, we can give it that offset. If I drag it here, notice how we're getting that cyan and red look now. And if it's too strong, you can expand global blend and decrease the effect a little bit. So this is what it's looking like with our scan lines before, after, before, after. One more thing I want to add to this effect is just a little more grittiness. To do that, we can add noise. So once again, that's an effect. I'll search for fast noise. Here I have it here to resolve FX texture under open effects. I'll click and drag it onto my adjustment clip. Let's go to the effects. And here we have our fast noise. So I'll expand this. You can achieve a lot of cool effects with it. In this case, we just want to add some grittiness. Let me reduce the scale. So I'll drag this down here. And I'll just put it around there, maybe 0.016. So you can see this is what it's going to look like. You can experiment with anything you like. And I'll scroll down for the output for composite type. Let's click the drop down here. I kind of like linear dodge and they're not in alphabetical order for some reason. So I always have trouble finding it, but here it is linear dodge. And of course this is way too strong. So once again, under global blend, I'll expand this and I'm going to turn the blend level down a bunch, probably right around there. Let's do 0.04. So if we zoom in, this is before, after, before, after. It's just a very subtle effect. Now the problem is if I play the video, I'm going to play it very zoomed in here. You can notice the noise actually isn't moving. In a real VHS video, the noise would be flickering around a bit. We can easily fix this by keyframing a few values. I'll go to the beginning of the clip. And again, I'm still on my fast noise option here. Let's scroll down. Under auto animation, I'll expand this. We have this seethe value. You can see if I move this around, it kind of just causes the noise to move a bit. So what I'll do is I'll just keyframe it to this position here. Then I'll drag a little bit into my video and I'll change the seethe value again. It can be anything, it doesn't really matter, just something different. And just keep doing that a couple times. So I'm dragging through my video and I'm just changing the seethe so it will transition to those different points. Now let's play it through. I'll zoom in so you can see the effect. And now if I play it and you look into these big open areas, you can see that the noise is actually moving around. Now let's say I want to expand this effect over another clip. I have another clip here. Let's drag it onto the timeline after my current clip. So you can see if we play it, the effect will stop when it gets to the new clip here. Well, I can easily take my adjustment clip and drag it over my whole bottom clip there. Now the VHS damage overlay didn't get carried through. I'll expand it as much as I can. Then I'll just click on it, hold alt and copy and I'll do it again and let's place it like so. Now we can have the effect over our whole video. And this is our final result. If you wanted to make this clip easily loop infinitely, check out my video on that topic. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.